Welcome to teachmeall.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to change the air conditioning condenser on this 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 4x4. Now, the condenser, what it does is Freon leaves the AC compressor. It basically, as the air comes through the condenser, either by the fan or driving down the road, it cools that Freon down and changes it from a gas state back to a liquid state. Now, the problem this owner was having was when he was sitting still or in traffic, the air conditioner wouldn't work real well. But on the open road, it worked fine. So what he did, went to his local auto parts store and got a gauge and a can of Freon and added it. And the low pressure side read low. So it still didn't fix the problem. So when we put on a better set of gauges that read the high pressure and the low pressure, the high pressure side was too high. This meant that it was, the system was overcharged. So hopefully by replacing this condenser, we'll free up the system so it can flow more smoothly. Now we're going to show you the tools we use to do this job. A condenser, some duct tape, a half inch spring lock coupler tool, a 13 millimeter deep well socket, we also use an extension, a 17 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and a quarter inch socket. We also have a 3 8 ratchet a 7mm socket or a Phillips screwdriver and an 8mm wrench for moving the battery cable. We also have some AC certified O-rings, some safety glasses, and also the AC system is under extremely high pressure so do not disconnect any of the AC lines unless the system has been evacuated by an approved AC shop. Before we began this video, we went ahead and had the system evacuated, removing all the refrigerant. So we open the hood, disconnect the negative battery cable, here we're getting ready to disconnect the AC line, we remove this clamp, and using our coupling tool, We'll slide it over, pull it up until it locks, and just separate the two pieces. Then we're going to put a little duct tape around the end of the line going into the AC system so we don't get any trash in there. Then we're going to remove the other line connected to the condenser. And here we're using our deep well 13 millimeter socket. We'll slide this line off and again put a piece of duct tape over the end to keep any debris from entering the lines. Then we're going to use our 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the bolts holding the condenser in place. With both bolts removed, we'll go ahead and remove the condenser by lifting it up. There are a couple of holes in the frame below where the condenser sits. Now we're going to remove the shroud from the condenser. There are six small bolts holding the shroud in place. three on each side Now there's one more bolt and a clamp holding this line in place. Be careful not to bend this line when you're replacing the condenser. Okay, now we're fitting our new condenser onto the shroud. Lining up the holes. 
Now we used a Phillips head screwdriver here to put the new bolts in, or screws in place. This these came with the, the new condenser. And remember to follow all instructions, installation instructions that came with the new condenser. And then we're going to use the, the, the new clamp and the new screw here to go ahead and hold down this line again to keep it stable. Now you'll notice the two holes in the frame where the condenser fits in. Just make sure you line these up with the little studs on the shroud itself get those in, then we're going to put our bolts in. And here we're reusing all of our old hardware, including the mounts. Here we're using a syringe to add one ounce of oil to the condenser. Now make sure you use the proper oil for your compressor and your entire system. Okay, now we're going to remove the O-rings from the existing lines. And we're going to replace them with the new O-rings that we have. We're going to we're also going to apply a little oil around the rings to help them seat properly. Be careful to over tighten these connections. Now we're going to get ready to connect the other one together. Here we have three O rings, and we're going to remove each one of them. And it might be better to use a small screwdriver than a pocket knife. But since we're going to replace these rings, it really doesn't matter. Then we're going to apply a little oil to all three of the rings. And the easiest way we found to do this was to slide the rings on one at a time and let them lock into place. The first one that locks into place is the lowest one on the connector, then the second one. They'll just slide right over each other and up to the third O-ring. Now with all three O-rings installed correctly, we're going to remove this cap from the condenser and slide the line into place. Reinstall the clip. To recharge your system, take your vehicle to an approved AC shop to have the proper amounts of oil and refrigerant added. Well, we hope this video will help you change the AC condenser in your 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 4x4. Send any comments you may have to comments at teachmeall.com. And as always, thank you for visiting teachmeall.com and have a great day.